Thank you for having me here and indeed uh, very proud and privileged to have um, a really led the response overall for, for COVID but also other emergencies. Children have to go back to school. There are millions of children that miss their uh, school, their education throughout the COVID and we know how difficult it is to get children back to school. Indeed, the education is the backbone uh, for the future of children and their well-being. We are seeing the virus is still circulating and we are far from uh, meeting the target of uh, the overall vaccination around the low and low middle income countries. The focus um, and the hard work needs to continue and we are working together with uh, our country office, our delivery team and so on to help countries accelerate and really vaccinate absolutely uh, people at risk, population at risk, uh, but also making sure that health workers, we should not let anyone unvaccinated um, and really strengthening the health system. It has been really uh, so sad to see that um, not only we've seen protracted emergencies uh, continuing, such as in Yemen, Syria, uh, South Sudan, but we also seen new emerging uh, uh, emergencies being um, natural disasters, such as the earthquake in Haiti. We need to make sure that while we are responding to the pandemic, while we are responding to some of the protracted emergencies, that we are ready to also scale up and respond immediately on the onset on a new emergency. What actually keeps me also worried at night is also the well-being of our staff. Uh, there is nothing uh, more important than our, our staff. They have been doing an amazing work, all hands on deck throughout the year, and they have been the backbone of our success. And I'm so proud for um, a team that has been really uh, the amazing team, I'll say. Thank you.